Angelina Aurora and I'm currently 17 years old and I'm a scientist and inventor. What I've been doing is I've been developing a biodegradable plastic made completely from waste. So from shrimp shells as well as the silk that spiders make their webs out of. My plastic breaks down 1.5 million times faster than conventional plastics. So essentially it's all gone pretty much within 33 days on average. I started off all with a school project when I was in year nine and I wanted to do something that would really make a difference to the world. So I was actually in the grocery shop one day and I was talking to one of the cashiers and she told me that we have to pay for plastic bags now to save the environment. And that got me thinking if there's a way that humans can have their convenience and still not damage the environment. And that's where I came up with the idea of biodegradable plastics. So the inspiration for my plastic was I was having dinner one day and just by coincidence, I was like failing in the lab a lot earlier on. And I looked at shrimp shells, they look like plastic. And I just thought to myself, what makes them look like plastic? And that's, it, it hit me and I just went straight into researching. That moment honestly felt so surreal. I couldn't even believe that it happened. I was pinching myself. I couldn't wait to get it out into the world and start testing with it and start using it in real life. A lot of self-doubt does come in, especially when you've had a couple of hard days in a row, or even like before going up on stage. Of course, it's almost natural to be a little bit nervous because you really it shows that you care about something that you do. But I think the way that I overcome that personally is by firstly not comparing myself to others or like what it should be and taking little steps at a time. I really think a lot of the subjects that I do, such as English, economics, as well as the STEM subjects like chemistry and biology, have really been instrumental in helping me see my ideas through to actual solutions. With English, it comes down to communication, being able to articulate yourself. To subjects like economics, where they teach you about the real world, as well as obviously the STEM subjects like chemistry and biology, which really form the basis of everything I do and the actual nitty gritty of how things work. So in the next 10 years, I see myself firstly, hopefully going to university and studying medicine. And then I'd really like to incorporate, you know, serving the community with working for Doctors Without Borders, but as well as continuing to do research and to develop solutions where I can not only see tangible effects to real life patients, but also the wider community all over the world. Some of the skills that I think are necessary for inventing or starting your own business or being an entrepreneur is definitely at the beginning having the curiosity and the will to see something through. You can start off with an idea but a lot of people have that but making it into a real solution and being persistent and continuing to work at something even when things aren't going the right way because ultimately the road is not easy but it's worth it. I think the way that I've developed resilience personally is by looking at problems as just temporary. I think by that happening again and again repetitively has really allowed me to become used to essentially failing and then getting back up again. And I think the more exposure and the more practice we have at that, I think that's how we can develop that skill. Young girls especially should not see age as a barrier, but as an opportunity to do more. I think no matter how old you are, whether you're six, 10, 60, it's never too late or too early to follow your dreams, your passions, or essentially anything you want to do or you set your mind to. 